There was a poet one time who said, the world is too much with us. Because the nature of the world is what? There's gain and there's loss. Status, loss of status. Praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These things come and go. And you can't take them as any basis for true happiness. After all, people will praise you for doing horrible things and criticize you for doing good things. People gain status and wealth from doing bad things. If we took the world as our God, we'd be pretty miserable. Fortunately, we have the Dhamma, which teaches us that we don't have to follow in the ways of the world. The world can spin around as it wants, but we don't have to spin with it. And John Lee's image is that there has to be some point in the middle that doesn't spin around. So you stay there. And then as for the things of the world, you learn how to use them. You don't take them as your basis for happiness, but you can use them as tools. When gain comes, you can develop the perfection of generosity. When status comes, you can use your powers to help other people. When criticism comes, you can learn from that too. When loss comes, you can learn from that too. When you lose your status, lose your money, then it's when you know who your real, real friends are. As for criticism, you have to look at yourself. If what they say is true, then you've gained a treasure. As the Buddha said, those who point out your, your faults point out treasure, things that you can work on to improve. And if what they say is not true, well, you've learned about them. It may not be what you want to learn about them, but you've learned. And we can take pleasure and pain and learn from them. The pleasures of the world, we realize, are are not all that reliable, but we can develop a pleasure inside that doesn't have to depend on the world. And as for pain, that the Buddha said, it's a noble truth. You can learn from it. So once your happiness doesn't depend on these things, you can learn a lot, and you can get good use out of them. But if you just grab onto them, hoping that your status and your wealth and your praise and your happiness will stay, we're bound for disappointment. So learn not to make your happiness depend on these things. You have an independent happiness outside. You can separate yourself out like this. That's when you have an opportunity to look deeper inside to see what potentials you have there that you've overlooked. And that you can now develop and see how far they can take you.